Hi, everybody. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite Chrome extensions, Screencastify. Screencastify is basically a, an extension that allows for uh, you to video record your screen or tab or yourself. Um, if you look up top at all my Chrome extensions here, this is Screencastify. Right now it has a little red recording dot because I'm using it to create this video. In order to use Screencastify, you have to add it to your Chrome browser. You can do that by going to the Chrome store, or in this case, you can just type in Screencastify, and it takes you to their site. The nice thing about their site is they have a little button here that just says, add it, it's free, add it to Chrome. And so when I click on this, um, I get already installed, and we know that because I'm using it right now. But for you, you'll get prompted with a couple questions. You want to integrate it with your Google Drive. Is it okay to use your camera? Is it okay to use your microphone? And um, one of the great things about Screencastify is it's integrated with your Google Drive. So any videos you create go directly into your Google Drive, and it makes it easy to share them um, just as you would anything else that's in your drive. So some of the basic features, um, you know, when you make a tutorial of Screencastify, it's sort of hard to show some of the tools. So I'm on their site, and this uh, little video here gives you a, a look at what it will look like when you are using it. So you'll click on that Chrome extension, and you're choosing, do you want to use film your desktop or a browser tab or the webcam? And it's also showing you that you need to enable your microphone and a camera. Um, all of those things you'll be prompted uh, to do when you go to use it for the first time. Screencastify does come with some tools that you can use during the course of creating your um, screencasts. And so this is showing you right now, there's a focus, uh, focus mouse. And basically it dims the screen and sort of highlights the area that you are deeming important by moving the cursor. Um, it also has the, the ability to have that red circle, again, to draw attention of uh, places to click and things to do. Sliding over here to draw with pen, you have the ability to use annotations. I have those tools down in the corner here. Um, you can choose from a few colors, but you can see that you can write over the top of your desktop or a tab or student's work, and it will record that um, during the course of the video. The embedded webcam also has uh, the ability to be moved around. Um, resized and uh, you can bring it in and take it away during the course of the video that you're creating. And then this last little tab here talks about some of the cropping and trimming that you can do in the editor. So once you've created a Screencastify video, it will uh, pop up and allow you to review the video um, really pretty quickly. It auto defaults the with a timestamp for the name. So if you want to change the name, you just click there and you can type in whatever you want to call it and click save. Um, it gives you some other options here. So you can save it to a disk, you can share, you can do some editing, but I wanted to show you the share. So you can see uh, you have some choices. I want to know if you want to share it through Google, you want to share it to YouTube, um, and then you have this straight to classroom option also. So if you wanted to get this link into your Google Classroom, you can click that and it will take it there really pretty quickly. Lots of different ways to use Screencastify in the classroom for both teachers and students. Here we have a teacher providing feedback using Screencastify. He's screencasting over the top of a student essay using the annotation tools. He's got a webcam going down here for the personal touch. And then once he's done, he gets that link to this video and he can drop it into the uh, comment section in this Google Doc. So lots of different ways to do it. You know, think about all of the directions that you could give through screencasts so that students can access them again. It's a great uh, accessibility tool for students that need those, those directions more than one time. Um, you could set up some flipped instruction, lots of different ways to use it as a teacher. And then think about it in the hands of your students I've used this as a formative assessment tool, a summative assessment tool. I've given them a math task, and I, I want them to explain and narrate the process that they went through to solve the problem. Um, it really helps for students that maybe are hesitant to do the writing, but they, they understand the concept and they have that ability to, to share it. Uh, here, they've, they've set up a, a, 
a animation, stop animation using Google Slides. So they, they're film cast as someone's clicking through the slides and it appears as if the plane is moving across the screen. Students could practice their reading fluency, they could practice a speech, all sorts of different things that they could do. And it's really talking about, we know we're busy, how can we streamline some of the things that we do? How can we gain time to have more one-on-one -on -one opportunities with our students? Um, and this may be uh, a tool that can help you with that. And then lastly, I just wanna remind everybody, it's designed for Chromebooks. So um, it's something that students can use. It syncs with your drive. There's really not much you have to do um, except for start and end the video and um, it'll be in your drive. And it, it is fairly easy for everyone. It's gonna take some uh, trial and error once you kind of figure out the controls. Um, but uh, it is something that is uh, fairly user friendly. So hopefully you try this out and hopefully this video uh, is helpful to you. I am going to link below in the comments a uh, resource, 50 ways to use uh, Screencastify in the classroom. And here's a look at that document. Um, I just wanna make you aware of this uh, table of contents page. Here's the 50 different ways it's broken out into different subject areas. Um, the great thing about this is that these come from real teachers. There's videos explaining how they used it. This is Matt Miller. He was our keynote at the Summer Summit a couple of years ago, um, and he's featured throughout this, but there are other educators that have used this. Again, um, could be a great resource. So happy screencasting.